God is in his holy place. God who unites those who dwell in his house. He himself gives might and strength to his people. Hello, thank you for joining us. We come together as a community of faith. We begin always in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of triune God be with each of you. And, and with, with your her. spirit. Here in love with God, we seek God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless, bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. In those days the Lord said, the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is so great and their sin so grave that I must go down and see whether or not their actions fully correspond to the cry against them that comes from me. I mean to find out. While Abraham's visitors walked on farther toward Sodom, the Lord remained standing before Abraham. Then Abraham drew nearer and said, Will you sweep away the innocent with the guilty? Suppose there were 50 innocent people in the city. Would you wipe out the place rather than spare it for the sake of the 50 innocent people within it? Far be it from you to do such a thing, to make the innocent die with the guilty, so that the innocent and the guilty would be treated alike. Should not the judge of all the world act with justice? The Lord replied, If I find 50 innocent people in the city of Sodom, I will spare the whole place for their sake. Abraham spoke up again. See how I am presuming to speak to my Lord, though I am but dust and ashes. What if there are five less than 50 innocent people? Will you destroy the whole city because of those five? He answered, I will not destroy it if I find 45 there. But Abraham persisted, saying, what if only 40 are found there? He replied, I will forbear doing it for the sake of the 40. Then Abraham said, Let not my Lord grow impatient if I go on. What if only 30 are found there? He replied, I will forbear doing it if I can find but 30 there. Still Abraham went on, Since I have thus dared to speak to my Lord, what if there are no more than 20? The Lord answered, I will not destroy it for the sake of the 20. But he still persisted. Please let not my Lord grow angry if I speak up this last time. What if there are at least 10 there? He replied, for the sake of those 10, I will not destroy it. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. 
Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Lord, on, on the, the day, day I, I called call for help, help you, you answered, answered me. me. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart. For you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Lord, Lord on, on the, the day, day I called, called for help, help you, you answered, answered me. me. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, Lord on, on the day, the day I, I called, called for help, help you, you answered, answered me. The Lord is exalted, yet the lowly he sees, and the proud he knows from afar. Though I walk amid distress, you preserve me. Against the anger of my enemies, you raise your hand. Lord, Lord on, on the day, day I called, called for help, help you, you answered, answered me. me. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord, Lord on, on the day, day I called for help, help you, you answered, answered me. me. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, you were buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the power of God, who raised him from the dead. And even when you were dead, in transgressions and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he brought you to life along with him, having forgiven us all our transgressions, obliterating the bond against us with its legal claims, which was opposed to us. He also removed it from our midst, nailing it to the cross. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Your blessing, Father. May the Lord be on your mind, on your lips, in your heart, as you worthily and fiddle and you proclaim the Holy Gospel. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You have received a spirit of adoption through which we cry, Abba, Father. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. Lord. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us, and do not subject us to the final test. And he said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend to whom he goes at midnight and says, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread, for a friend of mine has arrived at my house from a journey, and I have nothing to offer him. And he says in reply from within, Do not bother me. The door has already been locked, and my children and I are already in bed. I cannot give up to give you I cannot get up to give you anything. I tell you, if he does not get up to give the visitor the loaves because of their friendship, he will get up to give him whatever he needs because of his persistence. And I tell you, ask, and you will receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. What father among you would hand his son a snake when he asks for a fish, or hand him a scorpion when he asks for an egg? If you then, who are wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Long gospel, short homily. Works out that way. So, Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. That's what this is all about. When Jesus is talking to his disciples and he talks about pray as you should, even within the context of what we call the, the Our Father, there is this request, give us our daily bread, forgive us our sins. And we know that God does that. We know that each time we seek something from God, it's, it's given to us. When he talks about seek and you will find, he is suggesting to the disciples that they go all the way back to Abraham. Abraham, talking to the Lord God. Let's make a deal, God. If I can do this, will you give me this? If I can do this, will you give me this? And each time the Lord God says yes, that hasn't changed. Throughout the ages, throughout the centuries, even now today in our world, those words come to us, ask and you will be given. There's no time frame for the things that we ask for. God's plan is a lot more complex, a lot more um, multivalent than we can even imagine. So God does hear us. And God does respond. And even in the midst of chaos, that hearing and that response is done. The challenge for us is that we have to be open to it. We have to be able to hear that response. We have to be able to see it and understand that that's what's coming our way. That's the important part. And so we study scripture that hasn't changed. We attend to the sacraments. Those haven't changed. The idea of the Eucharist, the idea of prayer, opening ourselves up to what God is giving us in our lives, wherever we are. Even the homebound that this goes out to. Your ministry that you give to us is important. The prayers that we receive because of your care is valuable and grounds us and quite frankly, nurtures us. Any priest, both myself and Monsignor, anyone else who has been ordained understands and feels the prayers of the people who pray for them every single day. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. The Lord God answers every single request that we make. Your right hand saves me. Forsake not the work of your hands. God will never forsake us. You and I, the work of his hands, the most glorious work of his hands, the source and summit of our gift from God is our ability to say to God, please God help me with fill in the blank. God responds always in our prayers, in our hopes, and always, always in our needs. We've come together as a community of faith. Let us together offer that faith. I believe in one God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. 
I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We gather our petitions, those things that we ask for, and offer them to our God. For Pope Francis, Bishop Donald, and the leaders of all faith communities, that by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, they will lead their faithful to recognize Jesus in all their pathways of life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our country be a hospitable place, striving to offer a hand of welcome to the underprivileged, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the people of the world will respect life from conception until natural death, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we always hold in prayer the poor, the sick, and the homeless. Having faith in God's loving care, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That William Bill Cross, the longtime producer of the Apostolate Television Mass, who is the special intention of this Mass, and all who have died, may now enjoy the peace and life of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And that God will hear and grant according to his will our personal intentions we now offer in the quiet of our own hearts. And for these two, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Holy and triune God, we gather these petitions, spoken and unspoken, offer them to you, and await always your response that comes through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thus to you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the field, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Lord, wash my iniquity, cleanse me of my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, and my sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to our almighty God. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. We ask this through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. So with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come, come again. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Donald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her chaste and holy spouse, the blessed apostles, all the saints and martyrs who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours now and forever. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ, coming as our Lord and Redeemer, did indeed give us a prayer that we always pray together. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace with your Father. Peace. Peace. Peace with Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Blood of Jesus Christ, bring eternal life to those who receive it. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all his benefits. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And Almighty God bless each one of you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We thank you for joining us this morning. Our presider of this Eucharistic celebration of the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time was Father Rich Litsu, a member of the Blessed Sacrament Dominican Friary in Madison, and he is also parochial vicar of Our Lady Queen of Peace Parish in Madison. Once again, it's great to have back Deacon Jim Hagemeyer, the Associate Director of the Apostolate for Persons with Disabilities of the Diocese of Madison, as he assisted at the altar. I am Mark Kaisley of St. Thomas Aquinas Parish in Madison, and as always, it is a great honor, and it's a great privilege to be here as your lector and commentator. The interpretation of the Mass in American Sign Language was provided by Mary Fruits of St. Dennis Parish in Madison, and closed captioning, as always, provided by the Apostolate. By these two ministries, the deaf and the hard of hearing are able to share in sign, word, and worship. We are blessed by the generosity, the public service, and social concern of the owner, the management, and the staff right here at WISC-TV that make possible the important aspect of the ministry of the apostolate that provides older adults and persons of all faiths with disabilities, living in care facilities, or in their own homes, a time of hope and inspiration in their lives. As always, please make it a beautiful week, and may the Lord continue to be your light and your support.